Hello everybody, this is Norm with Two Guys Farming. How you doing? We're back on Challenging Extended. This is episode 42 in our farming series. And uh, we're on the, uh, the dairy cow pasture, I believe. That's what you call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's still nighttime. And um, there we go. Mr. Cow. Or... Yeah, misses, I guess, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, anyway, we've got um, work to do. We're not going to just try and figure out the sex of cows. Um, first, we're going to just uh, do a few chores around the farm here. Um, we're going to... We've got 30,000 liters of homogenized milk. Let me just show you guys real quick in case you can't see that. So this is where the homogenized milk comes out. You put the um, raw milk here, which we have uh, about 2,976 liters. And then the homogenized is filled there. We have 30,000 liters. <coughs> so what we'll do is um, try and not run over cows, number one. So... Let's bring up our herd. Okay, so it's empty right now. So what we're going to do is just unload the raw milk. Wow, that's a magical cow. Wow, so we've got a lot of raw milk in there. That's good. So we'll um, take the raw milk, we'll put it in the homogenizer. This guy's going to walk through our tractor again. This is like a uh, field of dreams. Build it and they will come and make milk. Okay, so... And real simple, all we have to do here is just... Sorry, Mr. Cow or Mrs. Cow. They're all Mrs., I guess. Um... Which makes sense. They're milk cows. Um, I believe. So, we'll pull up here. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Oof, that's what I wanted to do. Big difference. I was just pouring the milk out onto the ground. Now, you can see the hose connecting there. See the hose there? Perfect. So, you can see it's filling up. 12,000, 13,000, 14,000. Great. So... We'll hop in here. We're going to unload hopefully all of this. Yep. Perfect. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to load up homogenized milk and we're going to bring it to the market where we sell this. can see the there's the hose hooking up again so now it's uh, filling there's the hose through the plants so I should really trim that back I guess so it's 19,000 18,000 this I believe holds 20 so we're in good shape Yep. Oh, a little more than 20, actually. 22.5. Cool. Okay. So, we're going to go and bring this to the market. And I guess the quickest way is this way, actually. Uh, screenshot of this. Okay. So we'll drive through our farm there. We've got some manure stockpiling. We've got some silage, which is good. We've 
got our rack there with our front loader attachments. We have two full pallets of wool to sell. There you can see our equipment, our, our weights, and oh, we've got another full pallet. Actually, why don't we do that now? And the reason is when we get to the uh, sell point for the milk, we're going to stop there. So I just want to remove that. Yeah, we've got the forks on the Fent front loader, so we'll just switch them out. I believe they will fit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I don't want to um, stop the production of wool by leaving this here. So let's just get this out of the way. Now this is one of the CZZ. Oh. Maybe it isn't. I thought it was. Maybe we have to, uh, let's see here. Disable automatic loading. Huh. Okay. This isn't very... Oh, there it goes. Alright. Okay. We've got the, the Fent front loader on the New Holland. I'm sure there are a lot of people t take offense to that. I'm sorry. Apologies in, in advance. So we're just going to put this right in here. Now what I like about these um, is they give you a view of whatever is on the forks. So it's kind of cool. Um, it helps you really kind of get a good view. Alright, so now that should... Nope. Unlock is Z. Okay. Got it. So now I'm just going to push it. Oh, not that much. No, I'm easy, buddy. Yeah, we didn't want to do it that much. Let's see if we can just... Alright, let's try that again. Okay. Perfect. So, um, let's go ahead and drop this here. Okay. Might as well grab a front weight just in case. We do have a, uh, a heavy load. Twenty thousand or twenty-two thousand five hundred liters. So this is a small tractor. So just in case we need a little extra, we should be fine. All right. So we'll drop this at the market. There's a, a sell point for it that actually comes with the uh, homogenizer mod. And. Just kind of make sure there's no cars. It's kind of tough to see around these corners sometimes. So there is a... a the mod comes in, I guess, three pieces. So uh, the first piece is the actual homogenizer. And then there are two more pieces that I'll show you, which is where we unload the milk. And then it sells... Usually, I think... I've never actually seen it when it occurs, but usually I think within 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and you get double the price of what you would have gotten if you just sold it as milk. So that's good. So by just, you know, going through... Hang on, we seem to be... It's a good thing I put this on here because we're all over the road, but I think I need additional weight, so... 
Let's see if that helps. I was losing the front end there a little bit. I don't know if you... I think it's better now. Yeah, I think. When you get up to speed, I think we can put one more weight on there. So, this uh, tank should get us about close to $50,000. Uh, dollars, which is you know pretty good. Okay. Now this, um, these two pieces here, you can place anywhere. If you wanted to, you could place them right next to the homogenizer. Uh, they're placeable, just like a homogenizer, but, I, you know, to be somewhat realistic, I figured, well, this is the market, so uh, this is the dairy, Blue Jacket dairy there, so I figured, well, it makes sense to put it here. And again, you just pull up, and there we go. So there's the hose, I'm going to jump over that. And you can see there, it's tallying up. So this kind of uh, ground plate is one piece. And then this square box is a separate piece that you have to place on top of the square plate. I don't know why they just don't make it one piece. Um, but anyway. Okay, so this is filled with 22.5, which is great. So this is now empty. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn this around. We, we have our animal trailer here as well. And we're just going to put this in here. there and now we're back here we're still collecting grass so let's let that get started up we'll go ahead and go in uh, agro star Out. And let's also put our front. I think that's the right one. Oh, we just sold it. I heard it, but I didn't see how much. Ah, well, I'll have to go back in the video and see what the how much money we had before it just sold. Um. Anyway. Alright, so we've got that all set up. Now let's get our Massey. And this is uh, just about full. Alright. And we're going to hit drive course. And hop back into the vent. And all of this grass has been collected. All of that grass has been collected. So now the only grass we have is up here in 52. Let me take a look at that. Oh, I knew I was going to hit that branch. That one little, see that little leaf right there? Set it again. Ah, oh, right there, that little branch. Alright, let's try this again. I'm, I'm 
wondering if it makes sense to downsize this forage wagon. It, it's just, it's the large, 60,000 liters. I don't really need to collect that much at a time. Um, I could easily get by with a smaller one. So that's a consideration. But uh, basically what we want to do, and I'll show you which one I have in mind too. And I, it looks really cool. Um, where is it? This one here. 34, it's about half, a little more than half, but um, it's really, it's, you know, probably not even two-thirds the length of this. So it would just make it a lot easier. Now, basically, I haven't finished cutting. You can see the Deutzvar down there with the Pottingers. So I haven't finished cutting this field, but I just want to get... Um, enough just so I can send the Massey Ferguson. The Massey Ferguson is 79%. So he's 27,000. <coughs> so, oh, he's good at math. Not me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we need to get up to uh, 35,000. So, I'll do one more row here. So as you can see, the way I do my cuts now, I you know go up and down, up and down, and then when I'm finished the up and down, I square off the top. So it eliminates those rounded edges there. So I'm just going to fill this up and then uh, I'll show you. And then I think, what else? Um, five has already been cut, needs to be collected. 23 has been cut, needs to be collected. Uh, 18 has been cut, needs to be collected. So let's go and load this. 
And this will, uh, this will be enough. I think that's probably a good idea to sell this. If if these branches weren't so well, if they weren't at all collidable, it wouldn't be as much of an issue. But as you saw, when you just hit one little leaf that sticks out, you're stuck like that. I think we don't have the damage mod. Okay. So, let me just back up a little bit. I think we're looking pretty good here. Just want to be just. Ooh. Let's see, is that? I think that's going to be too far to the right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you've got to be just right of center. Not sure why that is, but. Right there. Sure, it causes those lights to flicker. Like you just lag. I'm not sure. I imagine that requires a lot of CPU. Okay, so the Massey's. He should be. Oh. Yes, I, I thought I turned this on. I guess I didn't. There we go. The pipe wasn't out. Okay. Yep, so 89, 91. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started. And we'll see. There goes the Massey right there. So we're starting the rears. Okay. So this is basically... How I cut grass. Which <laughs> is basically how everyone cuts grass, I imagine. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our rear mowers are. Oh man. Um, I knew something wasn't right. There we go. Um, hmm. Not sure how I should handle this. Go over that. 
road to the left of me, I think. to go back to the Massey. Because he's going to go into the wrong chaff bunker. And we're running out of room here. So I think I can do... Um, I can get me go down here it's so uh that so we're done cutting now we just gotta pick this up and I'm just gonna square these off as well like so you basically, I just try and get rid of the round edges um, because it's hard to and then I'm just going to do a little just to get this little bit here. Every little bit helps, basically. I want to maximize as best we can. So that is done. So we're done. I think we're done cutting now, so that's good. Um, I guess we're gonna put this. Let's see the exit. Yes. Put our beacons on. Whoop. Yeah, right. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm taking a lot of screenshots, only because I haven't in a long time, and I just want to, I like to update the website um, with them, which I really haven't done. So let's hop back in here. And let's go pick up the rest of that grass. Oh, no. 
he got to the end. Oh, son of a gun. That's not good. Alright, so I'm going to have to turn this guy around. Um, I'm going to turn him around. Oh, that is an epic fail. Yeah, basically I let him go to the wrong bunker and obviously he didn't unload because, well, he went to the wrong bunker. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Oh, yeah, and then, sure, an insult to injury, of course. Well, we're not that far, so. So there's another field of grass to be picked up. So plenty of grass, which is good. We need it because um, we've got a uh, big harvest coming up. And one of the things we're going to be doing, see 15, 16, 17, all corn. So... We're going to chaff one of those fields, and that's basically going to fill all of our bunkers. The bunkers, the two bunkers at um, both farms, and these two bunkers here. So, these two bunkers, we're going to sell off the silage, and we're going to use that uh, to buy more animals, a lot more animals. So, we really, I want to get the animals ramped up. This is uh, only 18%? Wow, does this hold nearly a million? Is that possible? Um, it could be. Alright, so... We're going to use this to compact. I don't think I've ever really filled these up more than a couple hundred thousand liters just because I have never had uh, more than that.
It's good. Screenshot button lifted the pickup. So let's just focus on getting this picked up. Big news is Stevie has released his new map. Uh, it's called uh, Cherry Hill. Uh, well, in development, he called it, uh, I think it was Project 4, I believe. So now it's been named Cherry Hill. <clears throat> um, he does intend to um, do a lot more work to it once FS17 comes out and he'll then uh, release it uh, for FS17 so uh, he has mentioned that it will go through some major changes for FS17 uh, to the map not exactly sure why but I did uh, download it and Took a, a little fly around. I actually used a helicopter. Um, it's that big, so the, the helicopter mod is very useful. Um, so in that instance, so I think what I'm going to do is just a little preview episode from the helicopter, um, just to kind of give you guys a aerial view of the map. The fields are enormous. Um, yeah, just absolutely enormous. Um, yeah, probably all the fields on this map would make up maybe mm, a half dozen on Cherry Hill. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe not even. Fields are large. If you you like big maps, then with not just big maps, but big equipment farming, you'll like Cherry Hill for sure. Because it's just I mean it's just enormous. actually 85% full. Let's just um, make this little bit right here in the past. And we've got, I think most of this field picked up. We did a little bit of a strip. Little bits and bobs here and there. Here. Might 
people get all of this. Well, I'm probably not 98, 99, 100. Close. That leaf is stuck on the light. I don't know if you guys can see that. And not only that, but it's a strong leaf. It is indeed strong. Yes, so. Alright. Okay, so we're pretty much done picking up grass here. And. There we go. Good. Got a lot of equipment on this field. Okay. So, I think what we'll do, or what I will do, is we're going to call this an episode, a short one for me. Um, and what in the next episode I would have relocated all the equipment and have it set up for um, the next um, grass pickup operation if you will and delivery and we also will be I think getting pretty close to the harvest we have to buy a new combine we only have one right now um, Feel free, make suggestions, comments down below. Not sure what to get. It's got to be small. It's got to be thin. It can't be huge because this is a tough map for large combines. So I'm looking for one that has a header that folds, um, avoiding having to tow it around some of these tight turns. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. As always, appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment first time. Hit the subscribe button to get more. And if uh, you're returning, good to have you back. And as always, thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.